What's going on, guys? It's your boy DMV back with another one. Uh, I know that it's Saturday afternoon, um, but I kind of wanted to tell y'all about one of my most humbling experiences um, that I've witnessed uh, actually since doing this channel um, and in coaching, really. So previously in the past, like I didn't mix my coaching. I didn't mix that with doing content creation uh, because I was coaching at the high school level. But, you know, since I've started coaching my son's youth team, um, that's probably been one of the most gratifying experiences, taking a lot of first and second year players um, and, and helping them, you know, achieve their goals and, and, and you know, just, just playing better football and making them better players. Like, that, that's, that's gratifying. But one of the most gratifying moments was today we played this undefeated team um, out in Chantilly. And they were, they were a really good team, you know. Um, they're very tough, very sound. I knew that it was going to be a tough game. Um, this is our second time playing them the first time. I mean, they kind of put it on us this time. We played them a lot tougher. And, you know, at the end of the game, you know, th you know, tempers are flaring a little bit. You know, we lost. So that's fine, you know. But the other side, um, great kids, great coaches. So when I went to go shake hands, because it was, they were a well-coached team. They are a well-coached team. You know, one of the coaches on their side, and, you know, I hope that he's in the comment section because he said he watches the channel. But he was just like, what's up, DMV? You know, I watch your stuff. I'm just like, yeah. Um, that was that was gratifying because it's just like, I mean, I already love coaching. I already love helping the young people. But when somebody else recognizes you, and, I mean, you know, they got the W on that side. So, you know, I'm one that can take a loss. So that's fine. They're a very good team, well coached. But when you're recognized outside, you know, now, mind you, I didn't have any DMV clothes or anything. As a matter of fact, I had on what I got on right now. And when that happened, you know, um, it, it, I'm, I'm very thankful, very grateful. And, you know, um, you know, hopefully he comments on this, and, you know, maybe maybe if we win next week, hopefully we're in the playoffs, if we're in the playoffs, we play them again. I would love to have him on for a show. That would be pretty cool, I think. Um, but outside of that, man, we got the Lions this week. And I don't want you guys to think that I'm off task. Like, I'm still thinking about the Eagles. That game is over. You know what I'm saying? It's about the Lions. It's about Dak Prescott coming back and, and what this team will do. So tomorrow I'll do a video on, on a little bit of the breakdown. But I do. I, this is a game that I expect the Cowboys to win. Detroit's banged up a little bit. And I expect Dak to start off a little bit rusty. But I think that he'll start catching stride a little bit early. Hopefully the script that Kellen Moore puts together is one that can give him some high percentage throws um, and, you know, just, you know, help him build a little bit of confidence. And, and But just because you have Dak back, that doesn't mean that you got to go back to what you were doing before. Stick to the formula. And I think that Dak with that formula could win us some football games. Let me know what you guys think. I'm in, uh, in the comment section. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell. Each time I come out with content, I'm out. Peace.